Did the substitute person pay for anyone else's sins when he was killed on the cross or was he an innocent unfairly and unjustly killed? Birds, humans and everything were created before the birth of Jesus. Jesus created birds and same birds existed before Jesus was born. Apparently Jesus wasn't God from the beginning since birds existed before him. Did the substitute person pay for anyone else's sins when he was killed on the cross or was he an innocent unfairly and unjustly killed? The short answer is from the glorious Holy Quran no one can bear another's burden chapter originator 3518. So let us explore the two scenarios and cover the two views about the substitute person that was crucified instead of Prophet Jesus peace be upon him. For a start Prophet Jesus peace be upon him was saved by Allah exalted he and raised to heavens this is the Islamic view. He was not a criminal nor a sinner for anyone to pay for his crime or sin instead of him and be killed by crucifixion. First scenario. If Judas Iscariot was the person who was killed by crucifixion on the cross, well this could be a punishment from Allah exalted he to Judas Iscariot for betraying Prophet Jesus and attempting to tell the enemies of Prophet Jesus about his place so they can catch him and kill him by crucifixion. So, in this scenario if Judas Iscariot was a traitor and the person who was killed on the cross, then it would be a form of a punishment for him, and he deserves it because he betrayed Prophet Jesus and tried to provide his enemies with critical information that was about to lead to the arrest of Prophet Jesus, but obviously Allah saved Prophet Jesus. Second scenario. This is the Islamic view about the substitute person that replaced Prophet Jesus son of Mary. One of Prophet Jesus son of Mary peace be upon him was put on the cross as the substitute person instead of Prophet Jesus, which Prophet Jesus son of Mary has asked his companions if anyone would volunteer to be put on the cross instead of him since he knew that Jews and Romans want to capture him and kill him. Ibn Abi Hatim reported that Ibn Abbas said, just before Allah raised Isa, Jesus, to the heavens Isa went to his companions, who were twelve inside the house. When he arrived, his hair was dripping water and he said, there are those among you who will disbelieve in me twelve times after he had believed in me. He then asked the volunteers that his image appear as mine, and be killed in my place. He will be with me in paradise. One might ask but isn't that a killing of an innocent and that theory goes again against the Quranic verse. No one can bear another's burden chapter originator, 35, 18 and the answer is no because this honest truthful companion of Prophet Jesus son of Mary who volunteered to be the substitute and replacement person on the cross, chooses that to save one of the mightiest prophets of Allah exalted he from his enemies. So that great companion of Prophet Jesus who chooses to be the substitute person and replacement person on the cross instead of Prophet Jesus would be considered a martyr for putting himself in a certain death to save Prophet Jesus from his enemies and enemies of Allah exalted he. After exploring both scenarios and as we can see, Judas Iscariot is the person who was killed by crucifixion as per first scenario, then he is not an innocent person because he is a traitor and he did not pay for anyone else's sins, he got what he deserved. If the person who was killed by crucifixion on the cross was one of Prophet Jesus' companions, then he is a martyr with Allah exalted he grace and mercy. Allah knows best.